India, Kashmir, and the entire region by eliminating the Islamic insurgency. But the decision was met with fear in Pakistan, which were telling on halting trade with India and expelling India's top In the state, Pakistan's prime minister accused India of promoting, quote, an ideology that puts Hindus above all other religions and seeks to establish a state that represses all other religious groups. The Daily is supported by Wix.com. If you're ready to build your own website, go to Wix.com now to get started for free. Whether you're a business owner or a blogger, anyone can create a professional website using Wix. You can start building a site from scratch, or choose a beautiful template, then customize it to work and perform exactly the way you want. Build a website you'll be proud of. Go to Wix.com slash The Daily. That's W-I-X.com slash The Daily. And get 10% off when you're ready to go premium. The Daily is made by Jewel and Wills, Lisa Jordan, Rachel Preston, Lindsay Garrison, Ann Grant, Claire Tennesca, H. Cowan, Michael Simon Johnson, Brad Fisher, Melissa Anderson, Wendy Dorr, Chris Wood, Jessica John, Alexander McGill, Jonathan Polk, Lisa Chandler, Eric Crump, Mark George, Luke Mullen, Adiza Eder, Really? Julia Longoria, Sindhu Kira Samata, Oh, there was plenty of time. MJ Davis Lynn, and Dan Powell. Our theme music is by Jim Lundberg and Ben Ransom of Special thanks to Sam Dolan, Mercury Bouchard, Stella Tan, Julian Simon, Sonia Amin, and Paul Archie It is a strange example we've got conservative parties around the world who become revolutionary. But that's not what conservative parties are for. Conservative parties are there to preserve institutions and to fend off radical change. We're living at a time when the conservative party in the UK, you can draw your own parallels elsewhere, has become this revolutionary force. It, it does have echoes of the ultra left in that it's elevated to the pinnacle of uh, achievement, purity, ideological purity that is really dangerous. That's David Miliband. He's been a New Yorker for about a decade, but before that, he was head of policy for Tony Blair's New Labour Party and Foreign Secretary, a cabinet position under Prime Minister Gordon Brown, who talked about Parliament, Brexit, the UK's new Prime Minister, and his big job heading the International Rescue Committee. But first, let's get to your question. That's coming up. Stay tuned. Hey folks, Now Cafe has a weekly newsletter to help you make sense of the news cycle. See for yourself at cafe.com slash brief. Each Friday, the Cafe Brief recaps news and analysis of politically charged and legal matters. Sign up to stay informed at cafe.com slash brief. And you'll get show notes for stay tuned sent right to your email inbox. That's cafe.com slash brief. Agreed. This is Thomas calling from Atlanta, Georgia. Love your podcast. I have a question about the Second Amendment. I understand 
that it protects the rights of Americans to keep and bear arms, ratified in 1791. I guess I'm really frustrated with all of the shootings, and um, I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit to my bewilderment about how assault weapons and modern destructive weapons technology are allowed because 